good. Um, does that make it better? I don't like to use this lamp because it makes it fuzzy, but anyway, I thought I'd make a video here in uh, YouTube Booktube land. It is March the 19th, 2020. I am once again in my main study, as you can see on the wall, you see a poster of Jack Kerouac and that little phone, that little thing but is uh, James Joyce so yeah I'm sitting here in my main study having a glass of wine like I said it's March the 19th 2020 it is uh, 204 Five in the afternoon it is a cold gray damp day it's supposed to rain thunder and I came to my study to read to write in my diary I'm on page 286 in the year of the pestilence <laughs> the year of the uh, the virus uh, so yeah yeah I wrote down the virus it's a C-O-V-I-D-19 COVID 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 COVID-19 virus uh, a pet a pandemic pet a pandemic C-O-V-I-D dash 19 a COVID pandemic yeah my uh, daughter text us saying that our son-in-law's building there in Denver had a person who was tested with this virus and so now he has to work at home he's a he's an engineer there in Denver so and everything shut down in Denver too, restaurants, bars. And um, my daughter said that their school that our granddaughters go to is closed until the almost the end of April. So, and uh, our oldest son, they're kind of shut down until maybe June or July. He he works at home, but. Uh, his company says that uh, everybody might just be working at home until June or July of 2020. So yeah, so I have been reading. Uh, I I mentioned I got this book in the mail a, a couple of weeks ago. The I You See was selected nonfiction by Robert Stone, edited by Mason Smart Bell. And I mentioned I was getting, he wrote a biography on Robert Stone, and I got that in the mail the other day. The Child of Light, a biography of Robert Stone by Mason Smart Bell. So I've been reading this pretty steadily, but I also been reading this. And today, this afternoon, I start reading a short story in this collection of short stories by Robert Stone. Bear and his daughter stories. It mentioned that uh, when he's writing this biography, he quotes from his writings. Robert Stone's writings refers to them and quotes quotes them, and he quoted in what I was reading last night, a short story in here, which I can't pronounce. It's in Spanish, but it's this short story. It's I don't know if you can see it. But, um, so I've been reading that. It's a very short story. I'm almost done with it. I think I got, oh, about six more pages. So I'm reading that this afternoon. I thought about showing you my Robert Stone collection of books because I keep them here in my main study. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this camera up 
into the top bookshelf of this bookcase in my study and show you my Robert Stone books. I gotta make some room. <laughs> so this is the Robert Stone collection up here. Let's see up here is uh, like you have, this is a memoir written by uh, Robert Stone, Prime Green, Remembering the 60s by Robert Stone. There's a picture of him when he's younger. There's a picture of him with Ken Kesey and the bust, you know, the bust. You know, the Merry Pranksters, you all know that story. And there's his novels, all of them. You have Children of Children of Light, Damascus Gate, uh, Dog Soldiers, uh, Outer Bridge Reach by Robert Stone, they're not there. And then you have A Flag for Sunrise that one and then you have Bay of Souls and then Robert Stone Dog Soldiers and Hall of Mirrors and then up there is his last novel Death of the Black Haired Girl he wrote this right after he I think it was his last novel that he wrote before he passed away by Robert Stone I also have a short story collection by Robert Stone fun with problems so that's my Robert Stone collection up there up there is Proust's letters some biographies of Proust his works and uh, so yeah there's James Joyce the Dubners the portrait of the artist as a young man in chamber music there see James Joyce so yeah so this is my, uh, it's kind of hard to show books. These are all my Apostle Paul and New Testament theology, Old Testament theology there. And uh, anyway, there's all kinds of books here. See, somebody wanted to see the lower level. Once again, the main collection down in the lower level. But that would, one thing about the lower level library it's poor lighting and you can't see anything down there so when i go down there looking for stuff i'm always using a flashlight <laughs> and the flashlights are weak the batteries don't work properly and it's very frustrating what I should do is someday get somebody, an electrician, to put all new lights down there in the lower level so I can see. Plus, books are stacked everywhere, and it's just a total mess. So I would like to show the lower level library, all the books, but it's just a mess. I do, like I said, I keep books in here. Like, uh... I just showed you this thing. This is the last novel, Death of a Black-Haired Girl by Robert Stone. This was first published in 2013. I think he died in 2015, if I remember correctly. Let me see if it's here, back up here. Yeah, he was born in 1937 and he died in 2015. Robert Stone was the acclaimed author of eight novels, two short story collections, and a memoir. His novel, Dog Soldiers, won the National Book Award, and his collection of his book, his story collection, Bear and His Daughter, won the, was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize. Mason Smart Bell is the author of 13 novels, including All Souls Rising, which I have out there in my to be read pile, which was a finalist for the National Book Award and the Penn Faulkner Award. Two, story, two short story collections. He lives in Baltimore, Maryland. So yeah, I've been reading this, The Child of Light, a biography of Robert Stone by Mason Smart Bell. I've read, oh, 126 pages. 
reading a short story here by Robert Stone in his short story collection, Bear and His Daughter. Yeah, I found this, his other collection of short stories, Fun with Problems. I found this at uh, Salvation Army a couple of months ago. I didn't know it existed. I mean, I didn't pay much attention to it. So that's what I've been reading since my last video, listening to this Evoken on my portable CD player. I sit in here in my main study. I put on my headphones and I... listen to music. I've had this thing for almost, oh, almost 20 years. This, it, it plays perfectly. It's just fine. So yeah, I've been writing in my diary this afternoon on page 286. This morning I read for devotions, Canon, Covenant, and Christology, Rethinking Jesus and the Scriptures of Israel. And yeah, we're just going through the this time of complete shutdown. And uh, all we can do is wait it out and see what the future holds for us as a country, as the world. And uh, keep praying that God would have mercy upon us. And uh, not much else going on. I have a book coming in the mail. This week, it's a Christian book. It's, um, you know, I've shown the Herman Bavick books, the Dutch theologian minister. They read uh, his book, The Wonderful Works of God by Herman Bavick, has been translated. Well, this is a newer edition of it. I have an older one that I bought many years ago when we were living, I think when we were, I was in Bible college. I bought it back in, uh, let me see, when did I go to Bible College? I think it my, my timeline out here. This is my timeline. I get lost in time. Let me see. Uh, 1978, left Richmond, California to finish college in Grand Rapids, Michigan at Reform Bible College, which is now Kuiper College. 1978, I was 26 years old. 1979, Carol and I got married on May the 19th. I was 27 years old. Carol said this coming May, we've been married 41 years. In 1981, I graduated from Reform Bible College, Kuiper College. In 1983, I was 31. And we moved to Jackson, Mississippi to attend Reform Theological Seminary. In 1986, I graduated from Reform Theological Seminary. And now, on March the 19th, 2020, we are in a COVID-19 pandemic. We are on the verge of the collapse of Western civilization. So, yeah. The Lord reigns. Not much else I can communicate. I'm drinking wine, writing in my diary, reading Robert Stone's collection of short stories, Bear and His Daughter, drinking wine. Tonight we're having our oldest son, Caleb, who lives down the street from us, his wife Emily, our little granddaughters, Josie Joy, Ollie's here with us this afternoon, the little dog. And yeah, so we're just uh, hanging in there and I hope you're all staying healthy and strong, washing your hands, staying isolated if you're sick. Uh, don't go out into the world if you don't have to. And yeah, not much else to report here, here in Holland, Michigan. Like I said, it is the March the 19th, 2020. It is going on 2.30. And I just thought I'd stop by and say hi. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the comments. And until, until next time, bye.